Ah, yes, the acidification of fruit. Are you a coquettish, blushy strawberry girl? A Lana Del Rey rocker cherry girl? A colorful and wacky dragon fruit girl? A neutral and dark academia onion girl? Or a vibrant and juicy mango girl? The currently most popular fruit this summer, surpassing the reigning coconut girl, is the tomato girl. She spends time in her kitchen garden, wearing white linen dresses, laying out in the sun, and cooks her own food. She has a tiled mosaic Italian style home, wears silk headscarves around her cascading curls and cat eye sunglasses. Some may ask, have we gone too far? But I raise you, orange you glad to be a fruit girl? Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dion and today we're talking about not only tomato girl summer, but overall the fruit girl trend over on TikTok. I feel like there's over on TikTok, there are a lot of like different fruit girls, like strawberry girl, raspberry girl, whatever. And none of them, even with like tomato girl, they're not super solid aesthetics yet, right? Like they're not, sometimes it's hard for me to do these up and coming aesthetics because they're not solid yet. And so trying to give you guys a full guide is hard because they're just not old enough yet. So I wanted to do just a video on overall fruit aesthetics in general and like what they mean and just all of that. So if you like niche aesthetic fashion videos and fashion commentary in general, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Thursday. With that, let's get into it. For the first time in a while, I did ask you guys for some feedback over on my Instagram, so definitely follow me there as well. I used to do that very often in my aesthetic videos, but uh, I kind of got out of the habit, so now I'm back into it. And in terms of this video, we're gonna talk about fruit aesthetics as a whole and then get feedback as to what you guys think about fruit aesthetics on my Instagram. And then we're gonna talk about tomato girl summer and how to achieve tomato girl aesthetic. So let's get into it. Since the internet began, niche aesthetics have happened from polyvore fanfic mood boards to entire Tumblr blogs to Pinterest and of course now TikTok. Tomato girl and other fruit girl aesthetics seems so far to be a mostly TikTok thing for now. Typing in different fruit aesthetics on Pinterest gave me the impression that it's still in its er early stages. I would probably say that Cherry Girl was probably the first aesthetic because it's such an easy offshoot from Coquette and Lana Del Rey inspired aesthetics. And then in 2020, Coconut Girl blew up. And yes, I'm counting coconut as a fruit. Basically, these early fruit aesthetics took the physical attributes of the fruit and applied them to clothing. Coconuts are beachy and tropical, thus is the Coconut Girl aesthetic. Tomato Girl seems to be an offshoot of Italian Summer, Coastal Grandmother, and the Call Me By Your Name, Sufjan Stevens Summer. It takes heavy inspiration from Italy and the south of France and romanticizes things like gardening, cooking, farmer's markets, and dancing the night away drinking wine. Modern Girls on TikTok was the first place that I saw different fruit aesthetics, and I genuinely think they were actually just trying to clown on everyone on TikTok and TikTok aesthetic culture in general, but they are very funny and cute. They came up with things like dragon fruit girl, onion girl, papaya girl, and pomegranate girls. However, a lot of these fruit aesthetics also stem from strawberry shortcake characters. So whatever, blueberry muffin and coconut cream and banana nut, whatever the strawberry shortcake girls are, sorry. Something I notice is that the fruit girl aesthetics seem very similar to the color coding of the 2000s, like the blue and green girl, the pink and orange girl, the turquoise and brown girl. Those color schemes in TV and media have a trend to like repeat coloring um, in terms of the characters that they're attributed to. So typically pink and orange girls are almost always brunette and typically the Latina or black coated uh, characters. Oranges and yellows, those tend to be the black coated characters. Pinks and oranges tend to be like the Latina or like lighter brown colored characters. The blue and green color schemes typically are reserved for the blonde hair, blue eyed sort of types of characters. Not always, but if you look at things like H2O, Strawberry Shortcake, 
um, Winx Club, uh, Horseland, all of those like kid cartoons from the 2000s, the coloring of each of the characters, their color scheme, there's, there's a trend that goes along with it. I suppose there's color theory going on here because colors like yellow, coral, and orange look incredible on darker skin tones and can sometimes wash out blondes and paler skin. But it is interesting how like racially coded some of the color schemes are. With aesthetics like papaya and mango girl, darker skin tones are featured more, more brunettes, more black and Latina girls, and even more curvier girls. Whereas with strawberry and cherry girls, they tend to be the coquettish, waif, pale, thin types of girls. So it is interesting. I'm not, I, I'm just ob observing and stuff. Tomato girls are sort of like Italian coded. So they're still white, but they have, they're brunette, they have tanner skin, they wear more of those like richer colors. Again, I think part of it is just like color theory, but I, and like what colors complement different skin tones and hair colors. But I do think it's interesting the, how consistent it is throughout different like media and TV shows and stuff like that. So now we are gonna get into the portion of the video where I talk to you guys about what you thought about fruit aesthetics in general. Like I said, I asked this over on my Instagram, so definitely follow me there at DM the Taurus. So the first thing I asked was, have you heard of Tomato Girl Summer? And 30% of you said yes, 70% of you guys said no. And I always, I love opening up my Instagram questions with that because it really shows how like, in the weeds I am of internet culture that like most people have never heard of this. And I'm like, you guys, this is the most popular aesthetic of summer 2022, 2023, whatever year it is. And then I asked, how do you feel about the aesthetification of a fruit? Someone said, anything could be an aesthetic. I think it's kind of cute and creative. Aesthetification is fun. It feels like capitalism has sunk its gross and slimy claws into it. That being said, I aspire to be a tomato girl. It's cute, who cares, have fun. I think it's really fun to use something simple like that as creative inspiration. I think it can be fun, but turn costumey very quickly. It's funny, I like it like I liked the Disney princess BuzzFeed quizzes back in the day. I think it's fun, if not a bit ridiculous, but I love being self-aware of how earnest we can be. Cute for the summer, but why? It's also winter where I live, so I can't really dress inspired by these clothes at the moment. It's silly, but we can go along with it. It's like Zodiacs, meaningless, but so, so fun. I think it's fun, especially when the vibes are accurate. And that really plays into the whole theme of my channel is that these niche aesthetics are not realistic. You should not aspire to 24-7, 365, be coquette, be dark academia, be cottagecore. That's just not realistic. If you go to the hospital, nothing about the hospital is cottagecore, right? If you work at a retail store, no matter how dark academia you are in real life, it's gonna be hard to convey that. So it, you, it shouldn't feel so strict, especially with things that are as frivolous as these fruit girl aesthetics. Really, you're just using it as inspiration. And that's what all niche aesthetics should be, right? It should just be, I want to feel like a dragon fruit girl. I wanna be bright, I wanna be colorful, I wanna be wacky, I wanna be weird girl. It's just, it helps, these niche aesthetics to me, like I always say, are like dress up prompts. Like, what am I gonna dress up as? Well, fruit girl. So I got my cherry dress on, I got my strawberry vest on, I wanted some like fruity accessories. It just, and then I normally wouldn't maybe pair these together or wear this, especially with the green um, scrunchie. But when you look at these Pinterest aesthetics, it helps you get out of the rut of your own closet. Some people do view that these niche aesthetics fuel capitalism, but I actually think they could fuel innovation in your own closet because it helps you reimagine the clothes that you have. Rather than this being an old Forever 21 dress I got in 2016, <laughs> it's fruit girl, cherry girl, Lana Del Rey, coquette vibes, you know? It just helps you bring new life to clothes that you already have because you can attribute these, uh, these basically personalities to your clothes in terms of what niche aesthetic it is. Because niche aesthetic isn't just about the clothing, but it's about what that person does, where they go, what they drink, what they eat, what their room looks like, all of it encompassed together. 
And so you can have a thrifted pair of corduroys and just be like, those are my work pants. Or you can be like, ooh, those would be super good for like a professorial dark academia, dead poet society vibe. And I hope that when you watch this channel, it's just to reinvigorate and reimagine the clothes in your own closet. And that's what we're trying to, always trying to do here. So with that, let's wrap up this video and talk about Tomato Girl. So the colors of Tomato Girl Summer are mainly red, obviously, like an orangey tomato red, as well as uh, yellow, orange, green, terracotta, and lots of white. White dresses tend to be like one of the biggest things I've been seeing in Tomato Girl Summer. The likes of the Tomato Girl are gardening, cooking, dancing, drinking wine. They hang out in little restaurants, tanning by the sea, outdoor cafes, uh, on Vespas in the Italian countryside. Some staples of the Tomato Girl are white linen dresses, tomato patterns, sundresses, bright patterns in general. Shoes tend to be sandals, espadrilles, and neutral shoes. Fave accessories tend to be gold jewelry, silk bandanas, cat eye sunglasses, and a red lip. And in terms of getting the fruit girl look, you want to decide what the color palette is depending on your fruit inspiration. Obviously going off the actual appearance and the juices of that fruit. So blueberry, it's like that dark blue, but blueberry juice and blueberry things tend to be a purpley color. So incorporating that. In order to get into the mind of the fruit girl, identify the attributes that you associate with that fruit. Oranges are tart, sweet, bright. They grow in trees and sunny locations. Onions have a lot of translucent layers. They're typically neutral with some purple and green. They're underground in the dirt. This is what is going to define the personality and thus the fashion and the activities of the fruit girl you're trying to be. You're gonna use those physical attributes as well as the location in which the fruit is grown and the taste to help dictate the fashion. Makeup, accessories, and scent are also good to drive home the fruit aesthetic. So if you're doing cherry girl, those dark, rich wine sort of cherry colors, cherries have a pit, so there's sort of an edge, a rockery thing to them. The leaves of cherry trees are like a deeper green. Um, cherry lip, cherry blush, cherry dresses, like cherry scents, etc. Strawberries, like strawberry milk, it's very light, it's blushy, it's girlish, it's coquettish. And so you want like maybe a light pink lip gloss, lighter pink blush. You want blushier tones, that kind of thing. Mangoes are green, pink, red, orange, all these tropical colors. So incorporating that, if it's a tropical fruit, incorporating you know, bathing suits and tropical clothing into it, tropical prints, all of that. I just think it's really fun. This is a pine, I just realized this is a pineapple um, printed chair. Pineapples, yellow, prickly, tropical, again. So I just think it's really fun to really take lessons from fruits in that way. Like I'm looking at a thing with cranberries on it in the snow. So a cranberry fruit girl aesthetic would be a very wintry aesthetic, right? Cranberries are very wintry. And I just think, again, it's just a fun way to get out of your rut, to take inspiration from nature, the most beautiful, fabulous inspiration we have, right? And just find things in your closet, even if you don't have fruit patterned things, Finding things in your closet in the color palette super, should be super, super easy. And then driving it home with accessories, makeup, and then scent obviously is a huge part of this aesthetic. So if you're doing clementine, tangerine, orangey fruit girl aesthetic, having that in your perfume, same with cherry, same with strawberry. And I feel like it helps drive home the entire aesthetic, but I really like the fruit girl aesthetics. I think they're fun. I think they're, they just help like personify, I guess, fruit and nature in that way. And I think it just is helpful in looking at your clothes differently. And that's what I always wanna do on this channel rather than promote thrifting or buying things is to break down these aesthetics for you and help you realize that you, you have these clothes already and that you can attribute these personalities to the clothes that you already have with just some cho fashion choices that you make. 
And so I hope you guys feel inspired to dress as a fruit girl. If you feel you're in a fashion rut, be like, you know what? I I'm gonna, I'm gonna go mango today. I'm just gonna try, I'm taking inspiration from mango today. And I think it's just a, a good way to reinvent your clothing, get out of a fashion rut and re-envision and re-imagine your closet, which is always what I'm trying to do here is that with every single trend that comes and goes for years, your closet and your imagination can adapt to it. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Kind of short and sweet, but you know, love it. I wanted to hop on the Tomato Girl Summer Train and talk to you guys about it. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Thursday. And comment down below, which fruit girl are you? I'm definitely a mango girl. I love pink and orange together. I love orange in the summer. I love, I feel like those colors complement me really well. I'm definitely a mango girl. Mangoes are one of my favorite fruits in general. But I want to know what type of fruit you are. Dad, I know you're in the comments. You're definitely an onion girl. My dad is definitely an onion girl or a potato girl. He's in the, in the ground. He's dark. He's <laughs> like <laughs> hidden away. <laughs> you're an onion girl, dad. Everyone tell my dad that he's an onion girl in the comments. Anyway, <laughs> also follow me on TikTok and Instagram because on Instagram, you guys could help participate in these videos. Um, so go ahead and do that at Dion the Taurus. And with that, have a happy, happy day. Bye.